Enter for a chance to win a free reading now at indigotarot.club. Hi Aries, this is Petra at indigotarot.club and I'm going to do a reading for you today for February 2018. I have four different decks that I've already shuffled and cut. And I'm going to look at messages for you for work, then home, then love, then money. So I'm ready to get started. So I'm pulling five cards from each deck for you, Aries. And the five cards that I've pulled for work for you are the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the King of Swords. Uh, I had this message... January for some sign I can't remember which one but I'm filling it again with the six of cups there's somebody coming back to your job that was there before now maybe for some of you when they left before nobody really knew except the boss why they left or what the circumstances were um, but in any case someone's coming back to your job that was there before and I feel like you're elated over this so maybe you are very close friends with this person and somehow some way <laughs> you did not know they were back in town or something but and so you're shocked to see them all of a sudden back at the job for some of you it feels like once this person comes back y'all are gonna start right up again going out to the same club or the same places you went to for dinner um, dancing or movies you're just gonna start right right back up again uh, just like you did before. For some of you with the Two of Swords, I feel like your boss is giving you some kind of ultimatum. And for it feels like it's a female giving you this ultimatum. I feel like you're a single person. I mean, not single. I feel like you have no children. Okay. I feel like you have no children. And so this person, this lady boss, is giving you some kind of ultimatum at your job. I cannot tell if it's positive or negative. But it just feels like something that you did not expect to hear this month okay for some of you with the nine of wands it feels like you're very close to retiring and for some of you it feels like you have to leave your job because of some disability leave your job for good uh, it feels like you do a very physical job but you got hurt or something and so you're having to leave and you really don't want to leave, leave, lose this job but you have to leave the job there's no ifs, ands, or buts here with this one for some of you. For others of you, with the King of Swords, it feels like there is a male, a uh, handsome male, could have dark hair in your, um, in your, at your job that you might be interested in. They, they definitely seem like they're interested in you. I can't tell if you're interested or not, though, but it feels like this person is going to uh, come on to you or start talking to you and you can tell like right off the bat within the first few minutes of talking the way they're looking at you that they're interested in having some kind of relationship with you for others of you with the six of cups i'm feeling like you and a co-worker are hiding some kind of secret at work there's some kind of secret you don't want other people to know and for some of you this secret has to do with the practices there at the job Maybe in the future someday you'll you'll uh, break your promise and tell, okay, on this company. But right now it just feels like you're holding that secret and you don't look very happy about something that the company is doing. But for now, because you value your job, you can't afford to lose your job right now. You're going to keep your mouth shut, okay? Can't tell what it's about, though. Okay, Aries, for... Home, I have the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, and the Sun. Right off the bat with the Emperor, I'm feeling this is a neighbor, and this has something to do with your yard or your garden or gardening. Maybe you talk to your neighbor about gardening, or maybe your neighbor is your gardener. Uh, maybe for some of you, this person's going to come to you and tell you that he's got some kind of problem in February. Perhaps this problem is going to keep this person from being able to keep some type of, type of promise to you in regards to your house. With the Page of Wands, the first thing I felt was a child or some kind of kid 
causing some problems, wreaking some havoc in the neighborhood. Uh, but it does feel like this kid in February is going to be found out. Uh, it feels like this person has been sneaking around doing things for the past five or six months, and the neighborhood has been perplexed as to who it is. But in February, it feels like you all are going to find out who this young man is that lives in the neighborhood that's causing some problems, or maybe for some of you it's graffiti or vandalism. With the Knight of Cups, it feels like some of you are um, new in some relationship with someone, and in February you're, you're having a very nice romantic dinner with this person. You're having picnic outings and very nice, uh, good feeling about this person, and uh, this person feels very good and happy about you too. I feel like, like this person doesn't want to rush into anything. They just want everything to unfold naturally, and so I feel like this card is telling you not to rush into anything with this person and not to scare this person away. You have the Ace of Wands right next to the Sun. It feels like for some of you, you're moving into a brand new house that you just bought. Uh, others of you are moving into a brand new neighborhood in a part of town that you've never lived in before, and it's a very nice part of town. And so both in both uh, instances, you're very happy to be in this new location that you're in. Everything looks bright and sunny and clean and I feel a lot of happiness in you. And I, and for those of you that have a partner, I feel a lot of happiness in both of you together that you were able to afford this place. Okay. For love, Aries, I have the Empress. So you're going to find out in February that you're pregnant. I have the Four of Swords. I have the Fool. The Page of Rods. And the Eight of Swords. For some of you, it feels like you need to keep a very close watch on your phone or your iPad or something because it feels like if you're not careful, you're going to miss out and lose a communication that you're waiting to hear from. Maybe for some of you, it's a job, but there's a communication that you're expecting to receive sometime in February, and there's going to be some kind of technical issue with your equipment that for some of you, you might not get this call or this text or this email. So I think what the message is here is to give this person two or three ways to reach you and tell them to reach you all three ways just to make sure that you get their message on time before you lose out on some deadline. Because for some of you, there's some kind of deadline date in February. For others of you, it feels like you're very hopeful to find somebody before Valentine's Day because you want to invite them to a party. And so I feel like you're you're hoping like, oh my gosh, I hope I find somebody to invite to the party. I hope he's handsome or I hope he's nice and friendly. I don't want to take anyone boring to the party because then other people are going to make fun of me. Uh, it feels like I'm talking more to a female than a male, but it just feels like you don't want to be alone at this party and so you're hoping to find somebody quote unquote good to take with you again with the empress i'm feeling like you're going to find out that you're pregnant this month and you're very happy and excited to share this with others and for those of you that have a partner you're very excited to share it with your partner now for some of you i definitely see that you may have what do you call that <laughs> multiples you may have multiples you may be pregnant with multiples okay two three or four or five children um, but you're going to find out in February with the four of swords I'm focusing on the green and when I put the card down I was focusing on the green too there's a green handle on this sword it's like glass but it also looks like a um, for some reason it reminds me of olives so I'm thinking there has something to do with some olives or olive tree in your garden or maybe somebody's going to buy you an olive tree something having to do with an olive tree for some of you in your yard with this four of swords card let's see if i get any other messages here what is that for for others of you it feels like you're going to be setting up some kind of canopy or you're building some kind of pavilion in your yard because there's some wedding event or some kind of party coming up in a few months, but you're having to build it now for some reason in February. Okay, let's move on to money now for you, Aries. I have the Hierophant, the Three of Staffs, the Eight of Staffs. 
the nine of coins, and the wheel of fortune. With the eight of staffs and the nine of coins, I feel like some of you are going to have to travel in February to sign papers because you've inherited someone's home and or you've inherited some money from some relative that's passed away. Now, I heard and saw the word museum, so I'm I'm uh, and I heard that earlier for a di for a different sign. Something having to do with, with a museum and money in February. So if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> please comment so I know what's going on here. With the hair fant, I feel like some of you are going to be put in charge of some kind of community. You're going to be some kind of community leader. They are going to pay you some amount to do this. And it looks like you're looking forward to this responsibility. You're actually going to start in February. Like your first speech is going to be in February. Um, it looks like there's going to be all different kinds of people at this event, at this first meeting. But then by the end of February, the next meeting that's being planned out, it's going to be filtered down to a tighter group. I don't know what this is about. I just see that you're the leader. You're going to be the leader of this organization, okay? With the three of staffs, feels like some of you are moving forward with some business plans. Some of you, it's with the partner. Others of you, it's not. There is no partner here. It's just you for now, and you're doing it out of your house, out of your garage, maybe. Um, for some of you, this has to do with models, like boat models or some kind of models that you build uh, you know out of wood or something and then for others of you it has to do with wigs like hair uh, maybe you're going to start selling wigs or something but you're going to start from home doing it and you're going to be selling them online um, I just see some kind of venture that you're starting in February and you're moving forward with it it, it feels like you've uh, maybe you've gotten a couple of vendors online already and so now you're going to move forward and look for more vendors or you're actually going to start investing in promoting that website in February because you have these vendors locked in place, ready to go, ready to ship out this product that you're going to be selling. With the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like this is saying that this business is going to be very, very profitable for you. But I also feel like this is telling me that by the end of February, a lot of you, there's going to be some positive change coming towards you in February. For some of you, there's positive change as far as the health of your pet or pets, because I'm really focusing on the animals here in this card. For some of you, if you have a pet snake, it may get out uh, and be in running, not running around, slithering around in your house. And your maid or somebody that takes care of your house or cleans your house, they may find it. And they're going to have to call you emergency to your job so that you can come and, and put it back in, put him, put him or her back in her cage, okay? For others of you, I just feel a lot of positivity with this card. So I'm happy to see this card because for money, that's good. But I see it towards the end of February, okay? So somewhere between the 25th and the 28th of February, there's some really good thing coming in, some kind of good news coming in that has to do with money for you. Okay, Aries, I hope these messages helped you. I look forward to seeing you in March. Thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Feel free to comment below. And um, if you'd like to enter for a chance to win a free private reading, all you have to do is go to my website and click on the Enter Here tab. If any of you are business owners. I also have some other giveaways that have to do with for um, business owners as well. So all you have to do is click on the Enter Here tab at my website for more information. Thank you for watching. This is Petra at IndigoTarot.club. Get a private reading today at IndigoTarot.club.